the number six. Painting number six. Here, there, and everywhere. When I saw the documentary on the assassination of JFK back in the 1990s on AD, it left a big impression on me. And one of the questions they asked and put forth was, who had the most to gain to let something like this happen? And I thought it was a very interesting hypothesis. And the finger kind of pointed very uh, minorly to a major figure, uh, the vice president, the the vice president of the United States, and I thought that was very interesting. But something else I find interesting is the fact that in a lot of these situations, the major security departments, the CIA, the FBI, the NSA, and the Secret Security Office have all let things slip through their hands. So. Was this an accident? That is the question my painting, I feel, raises. Why do these otherwise professional people that are on top of the game make, have accidents and let things slip? But normally they don't. But it seems like when it's expedient and it could change the course of the country, it happens. Now, in certain parts of my paintings, I'll go through it and explain why I put these symbols here. To the right of the painting, you'll see the Twin Towers and that conspiracy, and it's just a hint of it. Uh, I believe the conspiracy is the fact that it was kind of let happen. And uh, uh, no one can really take blame for what happened. You know, the CIA puts the report in front of the... Uh, the CIA puts forth the evidence in front of the president and the president doesn't do anything. Doesn't seem it's important. Uh, this chain of command which seems to be more commonplace in our society where people, oh, I wasn't my fault, it wasn't my fault, and they say it's a breakdown of the chain of command. Uh, is it? The Twin Tower conspiracy in 9-11 is what I really base the painting on this thing where, or this idea that these high performing people, these professional intelligence gatherers have dropped the ball. I believe things purposely have slipped by these organizations. So the two uh, vapor trails you see flying through the ten Twin Towers and finish off on the right side of the painting are flying saucer and the Japanese Zero. Now the Japanese Zero represents the idea that Pearl Harbor was known by the American government and it was actually the force approaching Hawaii was known to have been approaching by the government and it was a way for the Americans to sound a rally cry and join the war. And there's a lot of evidence to point this to this and I won't get into it right now, you can find it online. The flying saucer represents the conspiracy of Roswell where for 48 hours the Americans basically announced that they had a flying saucer in their presence and then promptly told the story it was a weather balloon. And there have been many eyewitness accounts, uh, local uh, town folk who were involved with the gathering of evidence that said no, no, it was no weather balloon. Uh, from uh, law officers, uh, people that were have seen the corpses and the flying saucer objects. Now in the foreground, on the right, you see Lincoln writing in Lincoln Continental that JFK was assassinated in. That is the granddaddy of all conspiracy theories, the JFK assassination. Uh, Lincoln also, uh, his assassination was said to be a conspiracy. The pop culture uh, area isn't immune to this. Uh, I really wanted to put some pop culture ideas in there. And the conspiracy of Paul McCartney being dead. And the fact that he's 
on the cover of Abbey Road, he's barefoot. And that was a, in many cultures, the ritual is to bury people in their bare feet. And the idea that Paul McCartney was dead, died in an accident, and was replaced with an exact duplicate and, I guess, a singing voice. You know, it's very amusing when you think about it, especially because he's one of the most photographed and recorded person in the 1960s, and I, I think you would be able to tell the difference. Uh, and on the other side, the left side of the painting, you see uh, an Elvis sighting, which was really popular in the 1980s, where people would be served by Elvis at McDonald's. So I gave him gray hair. The three main figures on the left, the see no evil, the hear no evil, and speak no evil, are representative of the CIA, the FBI, and the NSA slash Secret Service. And I wanted these groups, uh, these parts of the government to be there as that, you know, that obvious, it wasn't our fault. It slipped through the cracks. I don't believe it slips through the cracks. I've known many professional people at the top of their games, and that doesn't happen. People fall from the top. When people fall from the top, it's rare, and you usually see the cracks in the system before that.